Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Some accessories for cosplay costume such as a large buckles are quite difficult to find in crafting store. So in this video, I will show you how to DIY a buckle. So let's get started. At here, I will make a buckle for the Sasaki Heisei costume from Tokyo Ghoul. What needs to be prepared, of course, is the belt. And then, the two main material is 5mm Eva foam and silver synthetic leather. Previously, I had measured the required size, so here I immediately draw the pattern. For the thickness of the buckle frame, approximately 1 cm. Make sure the pattern is quite suitable and neat, then cut according to the pattern. After cutting, make sure it is the right size to fit on the waist strap. Then, make the middle of the buckle with a thickness of approximately 8 mm. For the middle of the buckle, I use a wire that's approximately 1 mm thickness. Hmm, I don't remember exactly, so I'm sorry. Add approximately 5 mm from the middle of the buckle, then cut it off. Please do not directly pierce the middle of the EVA form using this wire, because it will break it. Use a pin needle to make a hole. Then, insert the wire for the middle bone. Usually, when the hub of wire comes in, it will be a little difficult to push it. Use pliers and do a circular motion back and forth while pushing until the wire passes through the side of the end. Continue with synthetic leather. Draw a pattern on the back. To stick it to EVA form, I use a contact adhesive. Pull the contact adhesive on the pattern and smooth it. While waiting to dry, do the same with the EVA foam buckle. Likewise, in the middle of the EVA foam buckle and the fork leader for the middle of the buckle. After the previous part is dry, then stick it. Because the thickness of EVA foam is 5 mm, we add approximately 8 mm of the synthetic leather for cutting.
for more contact adhesive on the edge of eva foam and synthetic leather and wait for it to dry approximately 3 minutes do the same with the buckle frame glue and cut the rest of the syntax leather again do the same for the outside once dry stick and do a technique like this for the corner Once everything is in place, press down on the more fox leader at the corners and carefully cut it off. Make sure the eva foam doesn't get snipped at the stick. Then here I want to make the rest of the synthetic stock to the back of eva foam. You can also just cut it off. Mark the center of the buckle and put a small hole attach the center of the buckle and apply two to three times super glue drops on the inside Continue to make the hook section. Use a wire that is thicker than the previous wire. Measure the leg like this, then cut it with pliers. If any of the side of the wire feel sharp enough, gently cut the stop ends with pliers. If so, make sure the wire ends are not sharp enough. To attach the hook, cut the center of the eva foam like this. Bend one end of the wire to form C underscore. Then attach. And then lock with pliers until the C underscore becomes C slash. Drop two to three times super glue so that the middle wire and eva form are stronger. Then move the hook like this so that the hook doesn't stick with super glue. Let's try to attach the waist strap. For now, I pierce this wire strap with a pin. I will hand show that part later. And be like this. I hope this video will help you complete your project. If you like this video, please press like and share this video on your social media. Press subscribe and the bells too to get my latest video for free. If you have other better tips or ways, don't hesitate to leave them in the comments column. See you later!